while preparing for the seminars i used to go through all the standard guidelines speed app and uh, after my uh, md exams were over by um, october 9 then i came back to speed app then uh, some important topics like sleep lung cancer uh, interventional pulmonology and uh, lung transplantation all i watched the videos again sir and uh, around 10 uh, gts were there sir in speed app from number 1 to number 11 uh, some tests were there every day i would wake up i would do my breakfast then i will sit and i will give that uh, test sir speed app sir my seniors were uh, using speed app sir so i uh, got to know that and i used to watch uh, youtube videos from speed app uh, right from the start of my md i used to watch sir so uh, how toppers are giving their interviews i used to watch <laughs> uh, hoping that i could get some idea how to prepare for uh, ini okay, i bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr anishk for scoring aml rank number 1 in dm pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine in ini ss session uh, november 2025 congratulations to you doctor thank you thank you so much sir great so uh, can we know a detailed background history of yours where you started till date what they have done yes sir so i am basically from tamil nadu sir a town called tirchangod in namakkal district sir aha so i started my mbbs uh, at uh, valamal medical college wow in madurai uh, in 2016 sir then i completed my uh, mbbs in uh, 2022 then in the same year uh, i got uh, into my uh, md respiratory medicine sir at indira gandhi institute of medical sciences patna then uh, this november uh, one month back i completed my uh, md sir so then i am here in front of you sir back to back you are a superhero started from madurai velamal then uh, ipgmr patna yes. and uh, now uh, in uh, aims new delhi yes sir <laughs> what a journey eh huh? what a journey oh, my it has God. been a dream journey sir for me also great ah huh? wonderful yes sir excellent how it how it happened this is a magic you are doing <laughs> sir actually uh, um, i think magical sir it's a chronic process sir my department is uh, academically very sound sir we used to have uh, seminars uh, almost every week days sir working days we have seminar we start our day with seminars only sir morning one hour seminar is compulsory so in my 3 years curriculum uh, we completed almost uh, all the core topics two to three times sir every presentations we have done uh, um, be it asthma copd pulmonary embolism sleep medicine so even this uh, richard berry entire book we have completed recently only sir so uh, most of the stuff uh, we covered in our departmental seminars so apart from that uh, ward rounds also again the same questions will repeat sir so somehow uh, it got on my md exams were also completed in uh, september and october only sir so everything piled up and uh, it gave a very good result <laughs> very good excellent so you decided to do a dm pulmonology pulmonary medicine and critical care sleep medicine what what is the specific preparation you you did um, sir till uh, uh, this april may i did not have much uh, idea for uh, how to prepare uh, regarding uh, ini exam sir so before that uh, i spoke to some seniors who cracked the neat and uh, ini so they told uh, just uh, prepare pulmonary medicine at this time and uh, after your md is completed you can prepare medicine like that they told sir so i just uh, focused on uh, our uh, seminars and uh, while preparing for the seminars i used to go through all the standard guidelines speed app and uh, <coughs> uh, books sir fishman and uh, some topics murray nadal and uh, craft and also sir so then we had a nice uh, seminar ppts also we had sir then uh, in this uh, summer uh, may month uh, we did not have seminar sir because of summer vacation that time my consultant uh, cast all of us and uh, he told uh, you, should, you are uh, not escaping from seminar you should do assignments so he used to give uh, around uh, 20 uh, 10 mark questions sir every 3 4 days we used to do it then after the every assignment he would sit with us and he will discuss sir how uh, questions will be asked in uh, exam in viva and in mcq all uh, you discuss how the questions will come everything sir 
so uh, then by the time it was june july then uh, there was only 3 4 month left for my exam sir so then i started preparing with that notes only it uh, got like around uh, all the topics were covered so i read that notes again and again sir surprisingly in uh, ini around uh, 10 15 questions came directly from those notes sir great and uh, yes sir and uh, after my uh, md exams were over by um, october 9 then i um, came back to speed up then uh, at that time uh, some important topics like sleep lung cancer uh, interventional pulmonology and uh, lung transplantation all i watched the videos again sir then after that uh, uh, time was very less for general medicine so from whatever knowledge i uh, asked from my seniors who gave uh, last year so i asked them and uh, those topics i focused and uh, around 10 uh, gts were there sir in speed up from number 1 to number 11 uh, some tests were there every day i would wake up i would do my breakfast then i will sit and i will give that uh, test then uh, every day sir then uh, medicine uh, questions i used to read sir those medicine questions only and whatever relevant topics luckily i had a medicine senior preparing along with me sir uh, <laughs> in the reading room just by my side so whatever medicine questions were there i used to ask him uh sir uh, is this topic important will, will this question come then he used to say if it is important he will teach me the topic in a uh, overview he will teach sir then uh, i think uh, some it actually worked out somehow sir <laughs> <laughs> very nice very nice so yes, how many questions did you attend this exam sir i attended 75 questions sir excellent Sir, speed up, sir. My seniors were uh, using speed up, sir. So I uh, got to know that, and I used to watch uh, YouTube videos from speed up. Uh, right from the start of my MD, I used to watch, sir. So uh, how toppers are giving their interviews, I used to watch, <laughs> uh, uh, hoping that I could get some idea how to prepare for uh, INI. Today you are. I always interview. had this. Hey, today you are, now today it's your turn. You are giving the interview. <laughs> Definitely, sir. <laughs> Great. Yes, sir. Mm. Then, uh, for whenever I had seminars, I used to go through uh, speed, uh, the same topics I used to go through, sir. So, with that, uh, I had that uh, flow of topics, how uh, seminar, matlab, uh, they are presenting the topics and, and where the faculty is uh, stressing uh, more. So, those things I used to know and uh, what guidelines they are referring to. Then, I would go back to those original guidelines. Then I'll go through, then I will uh, incorporate them in my slides, then we will do seminar, we'll have discussions <laughs> on that. Okay. So then, uh, after my exams were over, I had uh, around 40 days, sir. So one week I used uh, fully for uh, those um, high yield topics, sir. Uh, then um, <clears throat> last session, uh, some three videos were uploaded called uh, high yield topics in for INI, like that. So that videos also I watched and I read the no notes two, three times, sir. So, and I used to, GT, 10, 11 GTs were there daily. I gave one, one GT. Somehow uh, three weeks, uh, three, four weeks passed by like this only, sir. Then last uh, one week I revised all the notes, what I had, then this I yield notes in speed up, I revised, sir. Then uh, it came, sir. <laughs> Very happy, yeah. Very happy to see you. And uh, thank you, sir. Achievement and uh, and can you tell me about the paper? I mean, what are they focusing on the paper this time? Sir, questions are mostly basic and clinical, sir. All the core topics only they are focusing, sir. Rarely one or two genes and uh, antibodies and all they were asking, sir. So apart from that, uh, basic only medicine also I studied, sir. Sir, I had uh, this plan that. Uh, being from pulmonary background, uh, attending uh, general medicine questions, uh, it really, it's very scary, sir. So I had this uh, <clears throat> outline uh, of uh, 80 questions, around 40, 50 will be from Palmo. Five questions will be from Biostats, which is confined. And if you read uh, those, definitely you will hit four out of five, definitely, sir. So and uh, remaining 25, 30 questions will be from general medicine. Uh, and uh, we don't have to get all those right. We need only 10-15 questions. If we get that is more than enough, sir. If we are strong with Palmo. 
so with that i uh, asked a few seniors they told me uh, some topics like rheumatology endocrinology and all those topics sir and diabetics sir. so those topics i focused so luckily from those topics i got uh, two two questions in uh, mcqs and i got around 10 15 medicine questions sir i was expecting somewhere around 72 to 76 marks but i had two more marks 78 i got so that was uh, surprising sir so this is how I, it worked sir biostats uh, five questions uh, i uh, got four right sir one i skipped i could not get the answer right i calculated but that was a calculation question so i couldn't arrive rest this was the thing sir palmo mostly core topics only sir sleep medicine asthma copd um, lung cancer staging these kind of questions only sir great now about the interview preparation how did you prepare for the interview what were they asking in the interview what are the topics can you share something on that sure sir so regarding interview there are around 5 6 mock interviews in speed sir so i went through all of those and i took notes of all those interviews sir every single point they are discussing then i segregated them topic wise sir in uh, asthma what are topics they are asking what they are focusing then those guidelines and other things i uh, i went through sir uh, around uh, one week was there so i went through those topics so they were asking uh, they were used to start with basic questions sir then as you keep on answering they will go till uh, the trials and uh, uh, international guidelines like that they will go and stop where you are stopping they will stop and they will move to next uh, <laughs> uh, question sir okay so what is that you want to give a message and advice to the juniors aspiring for dm palmo Uh, definitely sir sir uh, i have always seen uh, ini is very big uh, task uh, uh, clearing ini itself is a big thing how will it be possible by me it was very doubtful sir but then once we see it systematically we can easily sort it out as i told around uh, 40 to 50 questions will be from palmo sir so being from pulmonary medicine background it will be very easy for uh, respiratory residents sir so uh, out of 50 even we get uh, around 5 wrong again we'll have 45 questions sir then if we get biostats five questions it will add up to 50 sir then medicine we have to get 10 15 easily 60 65 questions we can score and interview if we do um, above average to kind of thing okay sir then we will they will give i think uh, around 10 to 15 we must get sir so it will anyway cross 65 70 sir that was my plan and it somehow <laughs> worked out sir great So, yes, sir. what were your parents saying now? Sir, they are very happy, sir. This <laughs> has been my dream, sir. Uh, always I have been telling I should go to Ames, Delhi. But uh, somehow this has become hap- uh, realistic and they are very happy about it, sir. They are in Trichangod? Yes, sir. Okay. My uh, father is doing business, sir. And mother is doing agriculture, sir. Great. So, yes, sir. So, where are you right now? i am right now in patna sir so any possibility to go home sir i have one week in between sir so i'll go home now sir <laughs> so you are completing next week month end sir my tenure completed last month sir okay i just stayed here uh, some conferences were there sir so i stayed and, and uh, atmosphere is good here so i just uh, sit, sat here for preparing sir very nice very nice yes sir so, Uh, time to thank and whom all you want to thank that they have helped you all through yes, your career so that yes, you have achieved this is the last milestone uh, in yeah, the, yes sir and you yes, achieved sir, your sure. last milestone beautifully with a big bang uh, definitely sir you proved that it is you are capable of achieving beyond this also and yes sir whom all you want to thank sir i want to thank god for giving blessing me with a very nice family sir and uh, my faculties here at igms my seniors and colleagues juniors everything everyone fantastic sir and uh, especially uh, my family i want to thank uh, my father used to call every day in the morning ki wake up uh, uh, just one month you have to push uh, every morning 7 7:30 he would call me no no don't sleep go go study so daily we will talk around four five times in the phone sir will be are you reading okay what's your issue then i will tell i am mentally down this is happening that is happening i can't study this so he has been very supportive sir i am really blessed 
then i have one special person in my life sir uh, dr sindil murugan cardiology from uh, cardiologist uh, from velamal medical college only sir he is my mentor without him uh, i would not be sitting here in front of you now sir so he was the one uh, mainly responsible uh, for guiding me for my uh, md seat sir at that time i had no clue but during my internship uh, uh, last 6 month only sir joined sir then with this guidance i could crack neat in 6 uh, month time sir at that time it was a very big thing for me sir then after that uh, i got into momentum when i entered palmo i just i thought this should, i should be reading regularly now also big, uh, during my uh, medicine preparation whenever i had doubt in cardiology i used to text him sir he used to send a pair of uh, explanation for that and <laughs> it was very helpful sir apart from that my friends sir Uh, Dr. Lavan Ram Kumar, Dr. Roja, and uh, Tarni, they are very in my department, sir. That's what I have, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. Full of gratitude and thankfulness. So yes, once sir. Again, once again, we wish you on behalf of Speed Medical Institute, on behalf of all the faculty members, wish yes, you sir. a great, great and wonderful, amazing career. In, uh, super thank you, thank you so much, sir. In pulmonary medicine, critical care and sleep medicine. Best wishes to you. Thank you sir. Great. Thank you so much sir.